All right, so that's pretty good. Now, I got you working on one thing in particular, and it's something we've worked on as part of a pattern for as long as we've done FaceTimes, you've came out to Vegas to see me. That stick is keeping that club from getting behind you, okay? You get so dumped under, it causes a lot of issues. So go ahead and set up for me. No ball, no ball. Yeah, just set up. You go up, you leave your chest here, and just drag everything straight down, okay? Now, when you were, the swings that we saw in the beginning, if you're doing that, you're right. coming straight underneath that, and you're gonna cause a lot of issues. But we've been working now, so go up again for me. The feeling has got to be that this chest just drags your hands out towards the golf ball, okay? I posted a video with, with one of my guys in Vegas where he felt like we were trying to throw the hands as over the top as possible with our body, okay? That's got to be the feel, that the chest is just going to go straight around in a circle. There you go. And you try and hit a big cut. There is no way if you make that movement pattern that you're going to get yourself in a position where you're actually over the top. That's it. It just gets down to do you pull your hands down or do you turn? Beautiful. Just keep working that feel where you get the chest turning and feel like the hands aren't pulling directly down behind you. Okay? Yeah. All right. That's pretty good. So let's recap everything. So go ahead and set up for me. Grip it with both hands for me. Now, you have a problem where you get in here and you take everything super flat and then stand it up that direction in your backswing. And then you come in here, get super narrow, super steep, and everything goes left. Would you, would, would you say that that's a fair assessment of your miss? I would agree, yes. Okay. So we need to end the roll in the initial part of your backswing, okay? Everything's going this way. That has to stop. Because any time we start throwing this club super flat, it's going to want to stand up late. And when the forces keep going this direction, then we're going to be steep, right? right? So the first feel I want you to have in your backswing is that you're going to keep the lead part of your forearm here on your lead hand pointed at the ground as long as possible in your backswing. So three, two, one, let's start taking it back. See how that club now wants to sit more out? Mm -hmm. See that forearm still down to the ground? From here. This is where the radial is going to come into your wrist. So you see that little hinge right there, that little set, okay, that wrist cock? That's perfect. Now, all we're going to do from here is feel up out of the arms, and to get the hands more behind us, we're going to feel our chest crank, right? So that's a perfect position at the top of your backswing right there. That is ideal. That is a dream. Now, I wanted you to work out of freezers, and we've been working on this for a while, and I've already seen how well the shaft shallows, how well you use your body from this position. But you gotta be in a place where you're not trying to get everything super far behind you early on, okay? Your best feel has gotta be hands taking the club up, your chest bringing the hands in. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, go ahead and set up. I notice that you get into a lot of contact issues and you get blocky, okay? You don't get off of your trail side. That's what causes all your issues, so set up. I want to create two feels for you that's really going to get you around. Now, go up to the top of your backswing for me. When you do this, you see how this trail leg is fully extended? Mm -hmm. Okay. When you start down, I want you to start adding some flexion in that trail leg. So bend it a little bit. Make, when you do that movement, start over again, go up. I want you to feel like you're going to push your butt a little bit farther back for me. Go ahead. Butt goes back. There you go. Don't move towards the golf ball. Give yourself space. Now, you'd be here. I'm sorry, I pulled your arms in a bad position. Now, butt back, start turning. When we get right in here, I want you to feel as though your lead side is going to start pushing up and back through impact. Now, you see how your chest drags the hands through when we're doing that? Yeah. It doesn't feel like you're just chucking your hands at it? Mm. I gave you a great feel a couple minutes ago. Let me borrow this. Where I put this on your side, right? Get that elbow out there. Now, turn back and feel like you're gonna smack through and leave that elbow on your side. Give me a high five with that. Now, you see how your body's opening? See how that hip's pushing back? Mm -hmm. Do it again, build that feel. Good, now, give me more backswing turn, do it again. See how hard you can smack it. Great work. That's the feel I need out of your golf swing. Now put that back in your, in your hands. Let me just see that movement right there. Really good, do it again. 
Beautiful. So you're trying to cover two things here, okay? First off, you have a really steep downswing. Second off, you have a wide open face. So I've set this drill up here to create a feel where the club is swinging more into out, right? If I get that club in the way, if I get this stick in the way, it's gonna force everything to move in this direction, okay? If I try and get steep, I'm gonna bang into that stick, right? Now, that's the simple feel for the club movement. The next feel that I have you doing is I want you to get in here and feel as though this wrist is gonna curl down. Now that's working into more flexion. The more you extend it in this direction, the more the face is gonna open. So right there, I come back, it's pointed over there. You might take out your son, that wouldn't be fun, right? So feel everything curling down as you go back, feel your body turning, and then work everything underneath this stick and over this stick in your downswing. That's hey guys, cool. if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.